Right, so this tutorial is going to cover how to conduct a two-way between subjects ANOVA in SPSS. You should have already checked your data to confirm that it doesn't violate any of the assumptions that you need to have met to conduct the ANOVA, so I'm assuming you've done that already. If you haven't, I have, I have created a video that does look at these ANOVA assumptions and kind of explains them to you, so it's really important that you do have a look at that before we go ahead with the ANOVA. But assuming that you have met the assumptions of the ANOVA, um, what is a two-way ANOVA? A two-way between subjects ANOVA is used to determine if there's a statistically significant difference between the means of different groups, but these groups have also been split on two other independent variables um, or factors as we know them in ANOVAs. So you would conduct a two-way ANOVA if you're interested in the interaction between two independent variables on your one dependent variable. So what I'll do is show you the data that I have and hopefully that will become a little bit more clear when you actually see a real data set. So my data, just get that up. So here we have my data set here. Um, so I will conduct a two-way ANOVA to determine if there's an interaction between the subject somebody studied, so that's this independent variable here or factor, and their current employment status, which is here. So this is my second independent variable or factor. And their wellbeing score is here. This is my dependent variable. This is what I'm interested in to see if this changes based on either of these factors or, of course, um, an interaction between the two of them. So you'll see that my first independent variable, the subject studied here, we have three levels, one, two, and three. One refers to psychology students, so these people studied psychology at university. Um, maths is number two, and history is number three. Then we have employment status. This is either a one or a two. So a one means that this person now is employed, and a two means that they are now unemployed. So now I'll show you how to conduct the analysis um, and how to interpret the output to see actually if either of these do have an effect on our wellbeing score. So to do that, we click on analyze and then general linear model and then univariate, this top one. This opens up the univariate window, which asks you to define your variables as always. Um, the dependent variable goes in this top box here. So that is our wellbeing score. That's what we're interested in and our independent variables or factors go in this second box, the fixed, fixed factors box, doesn't matter which order they go in. So we'll put both of those in there. Then if we click on options, we can select descriptive statistics here, and this um, gives us our descriptives, which are always really useful to look at when you're interpreting um, what the results of the analysis actually mean. Then click continue and also I'm going to show you in this test how you can create quite a simple plot um, which might help you visualise your data as well, it might help you understand a little bit more about what this analysis is actually showing. Um, so it's really simple to do, we just click on plots and then we can move the variables from this factors box into the horizontal and separate lines box. It doesn't really matter which way around we do it. Um, I tend to put the variable with the most levels into the horizontal axis and the one with the least levels are separate lines. So because I've got three subjects, I'll put that on the horizontal axis and then I'll have employed and unemployed and um, will be shown with the separate lines on the graph. So you click add and you'll see there, this is the plot that we're going to have. So if you had lots of variables, you could create lots of different plots and see which ones you've got here. So then click continue. Then we click OK. And you'll see the outputs appear here. Here we go. So we've got three tables come up on this output. And um, the first two you should recognise from doing all the analyses. Um, we have the table that lifts our factors and the levels within the factors here. So we've got the subject and employment status and um, the number of people within each of those groups. The next one is our descriptive. So again, psychology, maths, history subjects, and then employed and unemployed with the means and the standard deviations there. Um, then the final table we've got here 
is the results of the ANOVA. So this tells us whether there's a statistically significant main effect of subject, the third line here, and employment status, the, sec uh, the fourth line here, on wellbeing score. And then it also tells us whether there's an interaction between the two. So that comes up here with the subject and then the asterisk and then employment status. So if this table here, the three lines we're interested in is subject tells us our main effect one, employment status, our second main effect, and then the subject asterisk employment status, which is our interaction effect. So if we have a look at the results, remembering which lines we're looking at, we are interested in this significance, so our p-value and our f-values here. So looking at subject, we don't have any significant um, effect of subject on wellbeing score. The significance level here, the p-value is greater than 0.05, which means it's not significant. The same for employment status, so our p-value here of 0.265, greater than 0.05, so that's not significant either. So the employment status of the participant does not affect their wellbeing score in this sample. And then the interaction effect here is 0.635, so again, that's not significant. So finally, if we scroll down, we've got the plot that I asked SPSS to do for us. Um, like I say, it's quite good to have a look visually at your data, so you're not just looking at numbers anymore, um, but you can kind of visually see what's going on. Sometimes as well, you can see interaction effects in graphs. So if the two lines you'll see are employed and are unemployed lines here, um, sometimes if these two are, if there's a crossover between the two, that can often um, represent an interaction effect. So it'd be quite interesting if you've run the ANOVA and you've got an interaction effect here, a significant interaction effect, have a look at your graph um, and potentially you've got kind of a, a, a bit of an X within that. So that can sometimes be a good indication that there is some form of interaction. Um, you can as well conduct some post hoc tests. I didn't do that in the test, um, but assuming there was a significant main effect here of one of your variables, um, you may want to run a post hoc test to see exactly where the specific differences lie. Um, in this case, we wouldn't do it on employment status because we only had two levels, um, so we don't need to run a post hoc. We know um, where that difference would be. It's between level one and two, so employed and unemployed. Um, but we could have done this for subject studied because we've got three. Um, we don't know where exactly that difference may lie. Um, so to do that, I'll show you quickly, just you can do that as part of the initial ANOVA. If you click on Analyze, General Linear Model and then Univariate, where we've done all this, you would just select um, Post Hoc and you can put the variable in here that you're interested in. So in this case, it would be the subject studied and then select your Post Hoc test here and click Continue and then you would just click OK and that would give you the output of the Post Hoc tests. So finally, um, I'll show you how to report the results in the usual way. I'm not going to go into too much detail um, because I've talked about kind of where these numbers come from with regards to the outputs in all of the other videos I've done. But I just thought I'd show you how to report them here. So um, have a look at the other videos or have a look at the University APA handbook um, for how to do this. But basically, this is how I would report the results of this test. So a two way between subjects ANOVA was conducted on the wellbeing scores of students from one of three different academic subjects. Name my, my levels there, psychology, maths and history. Participants in each different subject were further divided into employed and unemployed groups. The results indicate that neither the subject studied, I've reported my test statistics, or the employment status of the participant had an effect on the total wellbeing scores. And again, that's my um, test statistics for the employment status of participants.